Hello everyone, this is the Sapphire Pro 24, a 16 by 8 Firewire interface by Focusrite. Um, this is, as I said, a Firewire interface, not a USB. So you have to you have to have a Firewire uh, port in your PC, in your computer, uh, uh, to operate this one. Uh, before I start, I'd like to remind you that this video is for home users and small studios. So I'm going to try to explain uh, a bit everything I say here. So, uh, as usual, you have your uh, Nutric Hybrid uh, inputs here. You can connect the XLR, the usual XLR. Uh, uh, input or you can connect uh, TRS input a TRS input uh, is sometimes called a quarter inch uh, which is uh, you might know this one looks like like this this is the TRS or quarter inch input you can connect it here okay um, so two inputs and you have two knobs to control the gain for each input. Input one has input one has this knob, the gain for it, and this one also for input two. And you have a nice feature here which is a uh, as you can see a meter that uh, that shows you the the hotness of the channel, I mean the, the volume as it rises and goes up. It's clear here, and it shows you also uh, when this is important because it's, it shows you also when it's clipping. When it's clipping, it will uh, it will show red here. The final dot here is red. Uh, uh, you also have uh, uh, phantom power on this one, uh, so you can uh, connect your condenser mic. You know, condenser mics use phantom power. Need phantom power, 48 volt. Uh, phantom power you have also uh, the lead for the phantom power and you have um, uh, two small leads here it's not it's not very clear in the video uh, two small leads here that indicate whether you connected an instrument or line to these to these inputs you specify this by the control panel the software control panel you can specify whether this is whether you're connecting an instrument or a, li uh, a line, like a microphone. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, firewire indicator. This indicates that your firewire connection to the computer is okay or not. If this doesn't light up, this means uh, you're actually disconnected. Maybe, maybe the interface is on, uh, the switch is on, the, the power is on, but the firewire is not connected. So you know you have a firewire problem when you see when you see this uh, light off. Uh, you also have a power LED and uh, uh, LKD. This is locked LED, which means that the interface uh, clock is locked to an internal lock or an external lock, uh, an external clock. You also have, of course, the monitor. Uh, and knob the output gain knob and you have uh, headphones uh, and uh, uh, an, an output volume for it okay on the back you have two TRS inputs very clearly indicated with the with the background white here and you have six TRS outputs, which is great, right? You can connect several monitors like this. Six TRS outputs. Uh, unfortunately, they're all TRS, so you cannot uh, connect RCA. You know, RCA that connects like this, like this jack here. Uh, not like the Fast Track Pro. It has it has RCA, but uh, it's okay. You can get just small converter for this if you if you need if you have an RCA monitor or something. But anyway, 
its uh, TRS quarter inch inputs uh, outputs and you have remember when I said that this interface is 16 in 16 in 8 out now we can't believe that it's 6 uh, 8 out but where's the 16 it in right 16 in well uh, it's all here it's on in the optical side there's a small port here which is a optical in you can if uh, uh, if the inputs if the inputs of the uh, the four inputs that we have at the front of the pack is not enough for you you can connect uh, uh, preamp rack and that supports optical uh, digital optical connection and you can connect it to this port here and you can get 10 inputs by this port only by connecting an external preamp rack and there's a video actually on YouTube that uh, shows it from Focusrite uh, uh, here you have uh, the firewire connection to your computer and you have MIDI in, MIDI out, uh, power switch of course, power uh, cable. Uh, of course, you this power cable, uh, the power adapter comes with the interface, which is great. Uh, but you don't need this. You can also power it from the uh, FireWire interface, which is which, just like USB. You can fire it. Uh, you can uh, power it from the FireWire interface uh, but I I sometimes I at home I like to use the the external power I mean to relieve my PC from feeding it by power I mean yeah, power extensions a power adapter is there why not use it so and you have uh, the SPDIF output and input this is also digital uh, so you need high quality RCA cables here Okay, this is the control panel of the Sapphire Pro a really extensive and fully featured interface Ve Very few audio interfaces have such control panel uh, uh, Obviously, I'm going to going to go through it only briefly uh, um, As you can see here this is actually a mixer uh, you can see channels here and you can see inputs for each channel you can decide what inputs what input goes into what channel these inputs are physical inputs the lines that goes into the interface a dot in one a dot in two these are optical analog in one analog in two these are the inputs at the front analog in three and four these are the inputs at the back you saw them just just a moment ago so in my uh, in, in this case my voice is analog one which goes into this channel uh, finally all these go to the mix now for the mix you can choose whatever outputs here the submenus are actually outputs all these submenus are inputs all these submenus are inputs except for this one these two are actually output so you so you choose what um, what the mix goes to it goes for monitor one it goes for line three it goes for line, line five whatever so as you can see here you can route whatever input into whatever output right uh, in this section here what you have is that you have a simple way uh, or another way to assign uh, the mix or the output to your physical outputs as you can see here monitor output one monitor output two line output it's all outputs here see it's all actually output so you can specify what goes into them from here this is actually not something additional this is you can you can do this from the mix and you can do what the mix does from here so this is actually another way to do it uh, well maybe not exactly if you delve into it you will find something else maybe better my un than my understanding but this is the way I understand it uh, uh, 
uh, you have, by the way, several mix mixes here. So you're not confined to only one way, one configuration. You, have, you can have several configurations, which is uh, like a dream, right? Uh, and you can save actually these configurations. So you can one day uh, you want a configuration at uh, for, for your for home, and you want config another configuration for your friend's home. Uh, so this is briefly the control panel in my opinion awesome absolutely great okay the first thing that I like about this interface is the control panel as you saw it a moment ago uh, really uh, powerful really extensive routing capabilities here uh, then second thing number of inputs and outputs 16 in 8 out amazing uh, what I don't like about this interface is is I mean the size is just at the edge of mobility you know I mean had it been bigger than this a little bit bigger bigger than this then it would be a little bit of a problem moving moving it around uh, so it's still a mobile interface uh, but I have seen much smaller interfaces another thing that I've noticed uh, actually uh, this is probably because of a uh, a mistake I did when I first installed the driver for the interface. Uh, Focusrite recommends that you install something called a legacy driver if you would if you're using Windows 7 64-bit. I didn't do that, so that's my mistake. I, I cannot blame the interface. As a result, probably uh, that's why I'm having uh, a problem when I first start the the DAW interface. Uh, sorry, when I first type, my, first start my DAW and uh, uh, ignite the interface, it doesn't immediately start. The interface doesn't immediately go um, um, give give me output. It's it's like it waits for one or two seconds until it gives some output. Uh, then once it starts, then it's okay. Everything is okay. So that's only at the beginning. So I could have reinstalled the driver. Uh, uh, I tried that but it didn't work because I had some other interfaces and some other drivers it's probably my fault because I didn't install it from the beginning as Focusrite recommends uh, well but I didn't I didn't uh, I, I don't bother about it because uh, it's just two seconds you have to wait at the beginning only and then everything goes goes okay uh, so remember when you're if you're using Windows 7, 64 bit there is something called a legacy driver that you have to install before you install the driver for this interface it's documented in Focusrite uh, website okay this is obviously the latency test I'm going to use the Centrans uh, latency test utility as I did before in my previous interface a uh, previous review for uh, fast track pro interface uh, just to remind you this calculates the round trip latency uh, for the interface a uh, round trip latency is the added up latency for the out uh, for both the output and input buffers so I'm going to select the interface here sapphire Pro sapphire and then select the minimum buffer size which is 240 uh, this is not fixed for uh, every interface every interface has some minimum buffer size the minimum here is 2 240 so 5.44 this is the theoretical min, uh, uh, time that it takes 240 samples to pass to pass through one buffer now remember that you have two buffers at the input and the, and at the output so the round trip latency will be double of this uh, time plus something so let's measure it and Wait a little bit. Uh, there you go. Measure again. 21.09 milliseconds. 